I grew up in a Hasidic family and I was in a cheder till about 11. At 11, my father took me out from the cheder and put me in a modern religious school. At that time, there was a movement to take out these people from religious homes and make them secular. And it was a big movement in the 30s. And we felt that we are going to lose the Orthodox youth, Bnei Akiva. We thought about opening a special place which would change that. And this was to open a yeshiva of Bnei Akiva, which means a modern yeshiva, that in the morning we're learning Talmud, Gemara, Mudei Kodesh, and in the afternoon they learn secular studies. Then the question was, who's going to be the rabbi or the, the Rosh Hashiva there? And Rav Neiri, at that time, he was a leader of Bnei Akiva, and he was also a Tamit Chacham. He was in Rav Kuk's Yeshiva, he was one of the students there. My father is one of the founders of Bnei Akiva Yeshivot in Medina Israel, Bichlal, with Rav Neiri. The whole religious Zionist educational system, which gave birth to the Hezdi Yeshivas, which gave birth to the Mechinot, traces back to my father. In 1943, Yaldei Tehran came to Israel in the middle of the war, in 1943. And it was a big fight between the religious and the not religious, who is going to be the one who are going to be Mechanchim, educators for those kids. I was asked to come to which was a center of these children to decide where do they go and which institution is going together. I didn't know my mother was a Holocaust survivor until I was like bar mitzvah. I thought she was Israeli. My father is a sixth generation Yerushalmi. My mother is Mrs. Shoah, but she's also Tkuma. I gravitate towards the Tkuma part. She knew history, the European history, world history, on her finger. She didn't have to have a paper to look up. I can't tell you how many people wrote letters to us or called up about her. She really uh, changed the world of understanding the Shoah more than many others did. Many students that they meet me and they say, you know, whatever I learned and whatever I, I love Israel is because of Yota. So he had a tremendous influence on many, many students. The, my son is a Vabrenta Zionist, you know. He loves Israel and he teaches not only with his head, but with his heart. My first trip to Steyrot was 2005 under the auspices of Right On For Israel. So we put together this cadre of kids, about 120 kids apply. We picked about 45 and I felt it was very important to add Stay Road. When we got there, uh, a Qasem rocket had landed about 36 hours before we there got there in an apartment. So we brought fresh to the apartment. It was a two bedroom, totally wiped out. And this is while the New York Times was calling this homemade, highly inaccurate rockets. So I was in the apartment with the 45 kids. Literally, they ran down to the Miklat. Had they not gone to the Miklat, they would have been eviscerated. Uh, killed, wiped out, probably need DNA to, to bury them. Now what makes the Hezdi Yeshiva and Steyrot remarkable is that they were part of this movement to move to the most depressed parts of Israel. And this was not just a depressed part of Israel, it was a dangerous part of Israel. And so while people were leaving Steyrot, this community moved in, okay? And they made a statement that not only are we gonna Bring a yeshiva here, it means the whole faculty is going to live here as well. When enough guys show up, there's going to be a kol out. They're going to live, live there as well. And they brought this whole garin torani, tzioni, to live in Steyrot, which now is, you know, a whole neighborhood. And it also sent a message to the community that not only are we not running away, we're coming to live. 
The past that I came from a Hasidic home didn't leave me. I'm still, I'm still there. It's a good shidduch between what this family stands for and what this yeshiva stands for. We are happy and proud to really uh, support the yeshiva. It's not about being honored. It's about wanting to lend your name to a, a, a new institution that stands for everything we, we, our family believes. I think we can say that in my mother's name.